marks the 81st anniversary of Japan's bombing of Pearl Harbor, marking the beginning of World War II. The day also has special meaning to the Benedictine cadets who lost one of their own in that attack. Our Dave Williams explains. The playing of taps, just part of the ceremony honoring the memory of a Benedictine cadet. The annual Ganim Day ceremony remembers Staff Sergeant George K. Ganim. The 1938 graduate of Benedictine was the first Savannian to die in World War II as he was killed during the attack on Pearl Harbor. Nothing to me compares to the meaning um, and really the importance of Ganem Day because it is so BC. You know, it is our alum. Honestly, for us, just a great tradition. Uh, it always remembers our brothers that have gone before us and sacrificed their lives for our nation. It is a great service to our nation to serve in our military, and it's just a good remembrance ceremony. The ceremony has special significance to 100-year-old Herbie Griffin, who was a classmate of Staff Sergeant Ganem. He uh, was the editor of our newspaper, and I was one of the reporters for him. So George and I were together every day, and George was a wonderful man. And while the name of the ceremony may have George K. Ganim's name attached to it, Benedictine is certainly not forgetting the other 29 cadets that were killed during World War II. They have a monument on display in front of the gym here at the school. You know, sometimes we walk by that thing every day, and this is also a good way of just recognizing, wow, there, there is a reason why this memorial exists. In Savannah, Dave Williams, WJCL 22 News.